show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. A good one on tap for you this afternoon between the Cincinnati Reds and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Stepping into the box, Nicholas Castellanos. He will lead this one off today. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. Takes this the other way to right. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first out. In now for the Reds, Jesse Winker. Lifetime numbers against Joe Musgrove. He's just one for six. And just never could commit to the swing there, but he went around, and it's even now at two and two. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. 64 degrees, our temperature here at first pitch this afternoon. Not quick enough that time, and he's lucky to get another chance. Count remains full. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. So up steps the former MVP, Joey Votto, and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. And there he goes towards second. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Now another 2-2. Two -two. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there. Two away. So now the Reds' cleanup hitter, Eugenio Suarez. Eugenio Suarez. On the line, that's a base hit into left field. Throw comes in quickly from left, so even on the hit and run, they'll hold things to first and second here. The second baseman, Mike Into the box now, Mike Moustakis. Hit hard back up the middle, and the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Now batting, Kevin Newman. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Three and one now. And this ball's pretty well struck. High and deep to left field. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Standing in now, Adam Frazier. Circle change here, but it's taken for ball two. And it's fouled away. Here now the 2-2. Hit out towards second. On to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. So the next in the plate for Pittsburgh, Brian Reynolds. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. Here now the 2-2. Bottom dropped out on him, and that's a strikeout. And he makes the throw to first. Reynolds is retired, two down now. So that'll bring up Josh Bell. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. The one-two. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. Not being very aggressive right now. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that two-two pitch. -two Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Second inning set to go, set to get his day started. Aristides Aquino, and it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Fouled off.
to two balls and two strikes now. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Ready now for Cincinnati. Freddie Galvis as the switch hitter will take his cuts left handed here. One of the things this guy would like to do from the left side is swing it a little bit better against right handed pitching. This guy has decent numbers but not great numbers against right handed pitchers. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time and it's back to even now at two and two. Hit out towards second. Newman's got it. On to first and there were two down. So digging in now Tucker Barnhart the work on keeping this top of the second alive. The one one home. It's a fastball that misses. This one's down to third. Throw on to Bell at first and the side is retired. Next for the Buckos, Colin Moran. He was not much of a factor at the plate during yesterday's win as he took an 0 for 4 line. Hit in the air out to left. Castellanos has him played perfectly as he puts it away for out number one. Here's Gregory Polanco. He's ready for his first at bat of his early season contest. Now the one and one pitch. Two balls, one strike. The count is full. Kevin Kramer will be next. Now the payoff pitch home. Locks him up for strike three. Stepping up now, Kevin Kramer to try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. Inside, he misses ball four. Jacob Stallings will be the next hitter, hoping to stay hot. He had a couple of hits, including a home run yesterday. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Fouled away. And another foul ball. This pitch is popped up. Galvis waits on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Luis Castillo. Nine, one, and two do up. The one, one home. Soft liner to the right side. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So it's back to the top of the order now, and the right handed hitting Nicholas Castellanos will bat next. Here's the one and one delivery. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. Three balls and a strike to the Reds' left fielder. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. 3-2 pitch. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Now a 
swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. So bases are empty here with two gone. And next to bat will be Jesse Winker. Lifted down the line in left. Moran in foul ground. And they can't run it down. The one two. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So here now is the pitcher, Joe Musgrove, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Count is one and two now. The pitch. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Kevin Newman. And he's off to a hot start in this one. Homered his first time around. And that's been the entire offense so far in this one. They've been shut down other than that. Now the 2 1 pitch. Two and two the count. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was laid on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. Swinging a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is going to get foul. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Drives it out to deep right center field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he's in there easily at second with a one out double. Now At the plate now, Adam Frazier. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Digging in to try it again. Brian Reynolds, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The set and the 1 1 pitch. Really pulled that one across as the slider misses well inside. Turns on it and sends it deep down the line in right. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. So now to the plate, Josh Bell. Here's the two seam fastball that bears in a bit too tight. It's ball four. Stepping in, Colin Moran. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. 1 1 is taken for ball two. When he's pitching effectively, usually that two seam fastball is moving quite a bit, but here it's just kind of flat and straight. Could be a big part of the reason why he's getting knocked around. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And this is swung on and missed. His fifth strikeout already, and there are two gone in the inning. Now the one and one pitch. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. One and two. Three runs already home here. Misses ball two. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. At the plate, Joey Votto. As we begin the top of the fourth. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Lifted the other way out to left center. Reynolds is on the move for it. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out.
So the bases are empty with one man gone. And into the batter's box next, a guy who's developed into one of the big time power hitters in the league, a Eugenio Suarez. Hit in the air out to straightaway left field. Left fielder is on the move. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Ready for another chance? Mike Mustakis. Mike Mustakis. Open stance by Mustakis, and now the pitch. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. Stepping in and ready for another Number shot, 24. Aristides Aquino. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Now the payoff pitch home. Count still full, three and two. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Well, the shortstop's got him played perfectly as he takes this in for the third out. Digging in, Kevin Kramer. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Here it comes on one and one. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. The 2-2. Two -two. Three balls, two strikes. Hit hard to short. Fielded by Galvis. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. Now at the plate, Jacob Stallings. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. Two balls and two strikes the count to the Pirates catcher. Takes this the other way to right. That's his first base hit. Make him one for two now. now back, the Go. At the plate, Joe Musgrove. Now a bunt attempt here. But a foul ball. One and two now. This is hit not all that hard out to second. Galvis. Digging in once again. Kevin Newman. Already a home run and a double for him in this one. And that misses two and one. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. Three and one to him now. Pulls this one in the air out to left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. Now at the plate, Tucker Barnhart. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Two balls and two strikes to the Reds catcher. In tight. Look out. That one sends him to the deck. It's ball three. You can bet they'd love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Mark Payton come on to pinch it now with a runner at first and nobody out. And 
and this is on the ground to short. Could be two to second for one. On to first, not in time, as the umpire was right there to make the call. Nick Castellanos now. Peyton leads off first with one away. Runners off for second. In the dirt here. Pitches in the dirt and knocked down, and he'll make it into second easily with a stolen base. The 3 2 pitch, and that's outside. He lost him ball four. Steven Brault will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Jesse Winker will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second, and one gone. A 1 1. Takes a pitch for strike number two. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off speed pitch. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. Lifted down the line and left. And no one will track it down. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. Now a swing, and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. In is Joey Votto now. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. He waits. Now the pitch. And able to lay off the fastball the way here. Two and one now. Smoke toward third. Right to him. On to first, and the Reds' rally comes up short here as that ends the inning. Wade Miley is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Number 22. Coming to the plate now, Adam Frazier. Line drive to left. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. The center fielder, number 10, Brian. Stepping in now, Brian Reynolds to one and two now. From the belt, kicks and deals. And this one gets away. And costly as the runner will move into scoring position now. Grounder down the line at third. Reined in. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. So a runner on second with one down now. And digging into bat next, the big bat of Josh Bell. In for strike two. One ball, two strikes. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Heading out towards shallow right. Number 44 is there, and he makes the catch for the out. The throw is wild, and he gets away. Standing in, Colin Moran. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Colin Moran. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning.
Top half of the sixth about to get started. So here's the cleanup hitter, Eugenio Suarez. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly oh, just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. Two balls and two strikes now. The 2-2. Two -two. Is swung on and missed. He got him. Into the box, Mike Mustakis. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. The three and one pitch. Right side hit hard. And that's the second out. Digging in now, Aristides Aquino. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Again, he sends it out of play. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2 count. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. At the plate, Gregory Polanco. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few A-Bs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. Outside in a full count, three and two. Kevin Kramer will be next. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. And he fouls this one off. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of six. So striding in, Kevin Kramer comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And he lays off for a ball 2 and 1. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. Castellanos will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Into the box now, now Jacob Stallings. Last time through was a base hit. Hit hard on the ground to second. And a reach to his backhand side at second, but this finds a way by. Throw won't get him. Eric Gonzalez will look to provide a little punch off the bench as he'll hit with runners at the corners and one out in the inning. Runners are at the corners with one man out. And it misses three and one now. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Pretty good spot to be in as a pitcher right now. You can go for the punch out or try to deuce the ground ball to get a double play. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Kevin Newman. So far, two for three in this one. One and two now. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. And that's in there. Base hit. One run is scored. And the second run will score as well as they've opened it up to 6 nothing now. Now Adam. Into the box now, Adam Frazier. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield. Suarez has to shade his eyes from the sun, but he stays with it for round number two. The center fielder. Number now with the plate, Ryan Reynolds. Oh, he was yeah. retired via the ground ball last time up.
Here's the one and one pitch. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Center fielder on the run. He tracks it down and that will end the inning. Nick Birdie will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Coming to the plate now, Freddie Galvis. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get your head for a little while. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Freddie Galvis goes down for the first out in the seventh inning. Ripped down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but it gets by the glove down the line. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Kirk Casale will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. He's hitting for the red. Number 12, Kirk Casale. One out and a runner on second base. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Polanco has a read on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Back to the top of the Reds lineup now and stepping in, Nicholas Castellanos. It was a walk in his last trip. to left field and deep off the bat of Castellanos and that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning into the box Jesse Winker into the corner and slicing foul bases are empty here with two men out Swing and a drive. This one's deep to right. But he will make the catch on the dead Let's run go. as he tracks we it down just shy of the position. wall, and the side Double is retired. Jose De Leon gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Jose. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Josh Bell. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball. Two and two. Hit hard up the middle. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Standing in now, Colin Moran. He swings and misses. Throw down is there and he's out trying to swipe second nice release by Barnhart maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball well two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to full count now the three two pitch Line hard toward right center. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he'll pull into second with one away. Now and now, Gregory Polanco. Three balls and a strike to Gregory Polanco. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Here's the 3 2. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. And he gets around on one and hits it high and deep to straightaway right. But it bangs off the out of town scoreboard. And this will open it up a bit more as the lead moves to 7-2. To 
And he will make it up to third base as that is a gift there off of what was a terrible throw. So now to the plate, Kevin Kramer. Can't keep the weight back and he falls behind one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. And you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes now out number two. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Mustakis is there, and that retires the side. Michael Feliz will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Luke Maley is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Number 14, Luke Maley. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Fastball is looked at for strike two. inside with the slider and that'll back him up a bit and a good take there will nut him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning now to the plate Eugenio Suarez he went down on strikes last time up yeah and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball you could tell he was late on that one and we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Reynolds is under it to make the play on the first out. Standing in, Mike Moustakis. He was a ground out victim last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. The ball and two strikes. Here it is. Nope, up there. Runner at first here, one man out. Just missed with the 2 2 count, and it runs full now. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Mike Moustakis is sent packing for the second out of the inning. The 1-1. Chopper to short, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. From the belt, the pitch. And that misses two and two. That misses, and it's going to set up a big pitch now. Three and two. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Reynolds has it for out number three. Stepping into the box, Luke Maley. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. But a foul ball, and it's full now at three and two. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Striding in, the Kevin back. Newman. And he's the got a shot back. at history here, yeah, but he'll need a triple to complete the cycle. Newman. A bit of a hanger, but it's laid off and called a strike. There's a shin-high slider laid off for a ball. 
Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. Center fielder on the run. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Digging in, Adam Frazier. He's working on a one for three thus far. Hit down the third baseline. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The one two. Sent toward first. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single. Now batting, center fielder, Brian. Stepping in now, Brian Reynolds. This one's down to third. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Leone Kella comes on to work now, and he's their usual closer, but this is obviously not a save opportunity. Yeah, and this is all about just getting him some work, guys. He hasn't a chance to come in and close a game out for several days now, so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him the chance to pitch in a real game situation here. And it's belted high and deep into right center. Gone to lead off the inning. Blake now Tucker Barnhart and that one misses badly it's ball two and think about it in game one of this series they've already had to go deep into their bullpen here's another one that's drilled this one to left he's around first heading for two and that's off the left field wall and this throw gets away from him Philip Irvin will come off the bench now as he'll pinch hit with the runner at second and nobody out Philip Irving. One and two. One ball, two strikes, Cap. No offer at the curve that time, and it's knotted up at two and two. Two and two. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Polanco has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first out. Ready to take his hacks again, Nicholas Castellanos, as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball, so I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter, so I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. So stepping in, Jesse Winker. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The 1-1. Is swung on and missed for strike number two. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. And this one gets away. So now two men in scoring position. And it's fouled away. Another try at 2-2. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. Slap hard the opposite way. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. And a relay home. And not in time as the run scores. Kyle Crick gets the call here as he'll try and look for one out to finish this thing off. Joey Votto will be his first assignment upon entering as he'll bat with the runner in scoring position here and two away. The Reds down to their last strike. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this should do it. 
And he's going to put this one away, and the Pirates have taken the opener here at home as this ball game is over. Always nice to get the first game of a series, but even more so when it's in front of the home crowd. It seems to energize everybody the rest of the series. 7-4 the final finish today. The Pittsburgh Pirates jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Steven Brault claims the win out of the pen his first. Luis Castillo was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. This afternoon. First for the victorious Pirates, seven runs, 11 hits, one error, and they left eight runners on base. For the Reds, four runs on five hits, no error, they left eight men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 32 minutes. Our paid attendance at PNC Park this afternoon. 38,362. The Pirates thank you for attending today's game and remind you to please drive home safely.